Hey, Scorpios. I hope that you're doing fantastic. Thanks for joining for a Just Because reading. Um, so I am actually recording this in the Leo season. So if you've caught this video at any given time, whenever it is that you caught it, there's no time in the spirit, then something could have happened in a Leo season or an upcoming Leo season um, that the divine's showing you something. And so anyway, just take these energies as they are resonating with you. If you are new, I went through a huge process. I did tear for a while and then I pulled back as the leading uh, from the leading of the spirit when the uh, spirit told me to stop and to, to go a different direction and all that kind of stuff and so you might find videos uh, where I've changed a lot as far as just progressed and um, you know find more truth and being set free we're on we're on a journey okay to find truth and people are on different uh, timelines and um, going through their own untangling and unwinding of things and, and all that kind of stuff so anyway in a nutshell that's who I am welcome those of you who are returning welcome back I am and I appreciate you all so very much all right, Scorps, let's see what's going on. I'm, I'm going to use the tarot and the Hebraic language with pictographs on it, uh, which is the root uh, of the Hebrew, and then I'm going to use the runes as well. We're going to take a look at both sides or two people or two parties. You guys know your story. I don't. I'm just uh, allowing the Spirit to reveal what uh, I need to um tell y'all if y'all might see something I don't even see okay and for whatever reason I didn't and uh, sometimes I'm not allowed to say something either but anyway we're going to take a look at two different sides what we're allowed to know about something the situation of what's going on on both sides and then the suggestion that the divine wants you to do to fix something or to come up higher or to, to thrive or to be blessed or whatever that is for you okay all right, Scorpio, so with that said, let's go ahead and get started. I find blocking the youth on negative drive forces. I send every demonic entity right here, right now, at the sound of my voice to go to the pit. Every uh, wicked warlock, witch, uh, familiar spirit, anything of a negative dark side, I command you to go to the pit right here, right now. And I command for uh, truth to come to the surface for this reading, for what they are allowed to know, what they need to know. Uh, I thank you, sweet divine, for your truth and for your understanding right here, right now. Notice that I stated dark forces uh, that are in the negative. Not everything that's in the dark is, is bad, okay? And so I just feel like I need to say that for some reason. It's really come through my spirit. Uh, obviously, when it's time to go to sleep, we want the lights out, all right? <laughs> so anyway, um, whatever reason why that's something my spirit it is. Thank you, sweet divine. I just appreciate you so much. What does Scorpio need to know and understand or the cross watcher? Um, what are they allowed to know? What's the most important message? Show me, show me the first side. Show me the first side for Scorpio. Thank you, Elohim. Okay, so we have the high priestess. Um, I don't read reversals because I actually hit it both ways. It did come out this way, which... Uh, most of them I don't even acknowledge it, but there could be some kind of secrets that are going to come out. And you guys are about secrets. Uh, sometimes I will also uh, tell you what the signs are. Sometimes I don't, okay? A lot of people already know uh, the cards. But um, anyway, uh, this is Pisces energy. Um, I also want to say that I don't run to the Zodiac, but I do understand about the Zodiac, uh, both sides of it. And so if something needs to be corrected, then I'll correct it uh, as far as the situation or, or whatever, you know. Um, anyway, <laughs> those of you who follow me, you know what I'm talking about. So we have the High Priestess coming out here. This is high volume knowledge. Show me the other uh, side. Secrets. This could be another party or another uh, feminine in uh, a situation. She does hold the Torah uh, on her lap. I'm seeing the letters J and B. We do have emotional things with the moon here. The moon represents the mother. It's under her feet there. Um, this can go back to D past stuff as well. Could be connected to the um, uh, subconscious mind as well. This can go back to uh, rituals and things like that. Uh, really have to tap into your intuition because there could be confusion there as well. Show me the other side, please. Fine. There's stubbornness on the other side here. We've got uh, temperance here as well. And um, this actually just showed its... So we had two higher canons coming out here. This just showed itself in the Libra reading on the same side as well. 
this is a, a reconciliation of somebody on this side is trying to use their intuition. There's stubbornness somewhere. I, I'm feeling it in my spirit. I really am feeling it. Um, might be on this side. It might be on this side. It doesn't matter. But there, I'm feeling a stubbornness somewhere for, for some reason. If somebody um, had been, this could go back and forth energy. And uh, I was seeing that in, in uh, another reading. There's truth about something. Both sides would absolutely know the truth, but one side's showing something's hidden. Okay? And if, if whichever side is, obviously both sides dealing with, because I'm feeling it, there, there, there's some type of a stubborn energy, either between, if there's an outside party, because this can represent outside parties. This represents a husband. This can represent protection as well. But if there is a stubbornness against one or the other side, I'm really feeling that. Okay? But both sides do hold the truth about something. The moon also goes back to hunting and chasing, but it also goes back to being righteous. Okay? And humble as well. It's romantic energy. Um, this is really deep, really high volume knowledge. And this is a higher mind. Okay? Okay? coming out here. This also Virgo energy as well. Virgo and Pisces actually both hold that card. Show me the situation. We'll take more cards on this. I'm just really trying to take my time on these readings. I really, um, I just really want to just take my time. Show me the situation, please, divine. Yeah, there's just stubbornness. Yeah, there's the stubbornness. I was just picking it up. All right, so the the situation is, first of all, all of this is heaven stuff. Something's being driven by the heavens, okay? The emperor is stubbornness. It's also war energy as well. I love the emperor in the upright. He gets up, he gives aid, he does give war, okay? And for uprightness sake, okay? It's a husband as well. we got two energies here of a husband. We also have some of you all dealing with people who are outside parties to something. Uh, then the other woman This would also could go back to that. And I'll send you love and light, okay? Because it would have caused the war. A situation is some type of a boss or father or leadership or executive. Um, it could be children um, starting something. Let's go back to starting something. Maybe appearances as well. For some reason, come to my spirit. Uh, this is the situation. The emperor. Somebody who is in uh, control. This could be somebody who uh, is um, obviously the emperor would represent somebody who's known. Okay? So it's something you could be have all you known as well there's passion here with the emperor but there's secrets yeah there's really stubborn as there thank you divine show me the um situation <laughs> look stubbornness is as a sin of witchcraft I was going to say that because it, it, it really puts you in a really bad place. Okay, we got alchemy also on one side. So those of you are in the negative of this stuff, there's warring going on and there's magic and stuff like that then. Okay, and then there could be one side manipulative. Okay, or there's an outside party that is and the side knows about it or something like that. Okay, so um, yeah, the, look, something literally is driven by the heavens, Scorp. If something really is driven by the heavens. Okay, I just heard. Okay, so Scorpio, y'all have um, a scorekeeper. Somebody trying to keep score. Okay, in something for some of you all. The suggestion of the divine is to wipe the slate clean. You know that you have to do it. To jump off the, the cliff here and um, get out any kind of pride. And this also goes back to pride energy as well. It can be foolish to get out any kind of foolishness. Okay? And... Um, it, it, somebody also already, both sides already know and perceive some. This is the head, the the eyes, the brain, the mind. Okay, but if it's it's sick and it's in the negative, then it's full of pride and stubbornness and conceit and ego and all that kind of stuff. And it's really going to just get knocked down anyway. Okay, um, I want to take this night has come out on a couple of readings already as well. So the truth. 
and somebody's stubborn because of truth or something like that. And that's what's showing. So the magician here. And look, we got all kinds of heaven stuff coming out here. And then we got court cards as well. And then the truth. Now, well, the truth is going to set you free. So this side is either trying to figure out and tap into the intuition to get up. And so we got the other man here as well. The King of Wands can also represent that. So we got so both sides. So this side's got some some type of for some of you all an outside. Uh, person okay um either male or female just influencing the situation uh, on another note though somebody really trying to tap into their intuition on this side so they can get up and take action because the uh, king of wands get up and take action and this positive if, if that's what's going on this is spiritual energy to be it real spiritual because fire spiritual in itself is very masculine okay and um, if somebody really trying to tap in to get up and take action or to war, then they're doing the right thing by going within. Okay, if somebody got caught cheating, then they're, then they're, they're, the truth is here in the situation about the truth about that is here. Okay, if somebody is um, the overall energy is healing something. It's a physician energy speaking, manifesting something with the magician. Okay. We got Gemini here. Excuse me. I'm hearing a, I'm hearing a siren go off. Uh, the magician represents speaking, communication, manifesting. You got everything that you need to do whatever is showing itself here. The bun says to, you know, to jump off the cliff and to wipe the slate clean and to be reliable and to arrive and be, go slow and steady and win the race with that and be methodical. And if that's what this party is doing to take this advice, that's positive then. Then you'll be able to get up, take action and uh, be successful in it because the King of Wands and the Upright is very successful. That would actually be the lower version of the Emperor himself, okay? Uh, headship, take the headship and uh, move forward in truth. And this, this is a situation is about the truth, okay? So if the truth is causing a war because we've got manipulative energy and the negative with that kind of stuff and then another party, then that's what it's showing. We have legal stuff here on this side, big time, because both these go back to the law. And both these also go back to balancing, balancing out the scales, balancing out, you know, everything in moderation, whatever that is for you. Um, we actually got the access to one another here showing itself on the same stick. Um, this is a truth. This contractual stuff. Now, the Empress showed itself in, what reading was that? On one of the other readings as well. I want to say it was in Virgo's reading. I could be wrong, but I think it did show up. This would have another, uh, another half, okay? Uh, if you're not dealing with uh, cheaters and stuff like that, because um, I did see X issues also that had came out. This can also go back to um, anything legal, so divorces and marriages and stuff like that. Uh, then that is out here. Yeah, I'm hearing a siren. I'm really hearing a siren. Let's go on. I just heard something's major. Something's major. Yeah, there's a devil energy coming out again. So, but there's divine grace here. So this this come out a couple times already, and this is piercing energy. Okay, well the truth is piercing. There's divine grace here though. There's protection really showing up here, even in the word. We got protection here, protection here, and the word protect in the night. Okay, well we got the moon uh, underneath the high priestess's uh, feet here. But again, you know, whatever this is, the devil energy would go back to bank systems, money, um, all kinds of stuff. And y'all, Scorpio, your energy also goes back to uh, secret money, secret sex, and all kinds of stuff. Children as well. All right. Um, so this side is really dealing with devilish stuff or needs divine grace, trying to tap in to see how to get it. Well, the bunch showing that it's here. I feel like I'm supposed to keep this here. Okay, well. We have the, the, the sun, which is the cough 
which is the sun at the horizon. Um, this is a forcible over this governmental stuff coming out really big. So with the law, I mean, it's, it's all over the place. Uh, this is a bright future. Okay. Somebody knows that they need to put some, uh, to overthrow something by way of the truth. The situation is a truth. Why aren't you, uh, the divine says to, to, to put something up in your face and to forcibly do something. This would be a forcible overthrow energy. And that is a situation here, but there's a bright future within doing that. Um, the shin is here and that's the wisdom that's sharp teeth as well understanding something uh well this is genius energy right here the divine's the one gives that genius energy and it's right here in the um suggestion to do something about pride and ego and things that are just right up in your face and forcibly overthrow it in a, a positive way it's the most positive card in the deck it's also good back to do something to do with your children as well uh, to, to let's see what this word is actually the phonics is kiss also is a case here well if you're in a legal matter and you're going through something because one side is really piercing we got teeth here and given everything's come out on this channel and somebody's had to be protected or uh, whatever this is then there's a case going on maybe a sick case as well let's see what the word is I, I believe this has come out before <laughs> this is amazing to me it, the word is actually gather and stalk okay uh, s-t-a-l-k okay combine these means bring together and pressed is what it means okay uh, once the grains this uh, are harvested we got harvesting energy somebody else had the actual harvest come out in the suggestion as well I want to say it was Virgo um, it goes to stubble we got fire energy here this it goes back to um, a stiff branch actually the, the word I was laughing about is because the word actually in the section means stubbornness <laughs> I <laughs> just love the divine. Look, I was picking up on that stubbornness for that thing came out. Okay, and somebody's stubborn uh, in a situation. We do are showing outside parties for some of y'all. And somebody's stubborn against one side or stubborn for one side or something like that. And whatever this has been in your situation that's been piercing and stuff like that is, is really, it's the words. The divine says get our stubbornness for one thing. You don't like stubbornness. It's, it's witchcrafty. Okay? And uh, there is no divination. we got witchcraft stuff right here. we got magician stuff going on. Alchemy going on as well. But the divine says if you are in truth, though, we got truth right here, then there is no enchantment or uh, divination against that. Okay? The, the <laughs> The great divine is the great divine. He divines, right? Anyway, it's amazing. There's something really hard here with this word, okay? But the divine says to, to, to gather the stubbles and those people who want to stay in their stubbornness and throw them in the fire. There's purification there, okay? Ooh, there's a big storm going on here. I don't know if you guys can hear that. The word in the suggestion the other way is sheep. Okay, it means drink. It also means a river. Um, it means the riverbed becoming full of water. Uh, look, people are thirsty. They do need a drink. Okay. Um, give me a second because I'm just looking at this whole, something's rushing here. The divine says to rush. Um... Yeah, this just goes back to um, a river and rushing water, a rushing about and to and fro as a raging river. Well, that's a war. The situation is the war. The case itself. The divine says to start something new, to wipe the slate clean, get out of the, the stubbornness, be front stage about something, be sharp, okay? Cut something away that needs to be cut away. 
so that your soul can take a drink of something. Okay, throw all the stubble and all that crap away that does not profit you in any way, shape, or form. Um, there's an overflow here. There's a desire in this section. Well, there's desire right there um, with the emperor. I'm going to on time. Let me see this side. Truth, truth on this side. Huge truth showing itself. Truth is the situation. Okay? Front stage stuff, the divine says do it. Okay, with integrity, this is a 21, which would also take you to Empress Energies, which is still three. Okay, it's also prison energies, that's hangman energies, turning you upside down. It's also prophecy. It's also um, got the skills of uh, Libra within it as well to balance something out, to take a drink. Okay, look, we got two cups right here, right out of heaven. Regardless of what this other party is on this side or uh, what the intuition or the, the, what this is, we got somebody mixing a drink. Amazing. With the foot in the river. That's amazing. To, this is a marriage thing here. Whether it be a divorce or a marriage, this is to mark a signature of some kind. Okay, this is um, contractual stuff. Give me one for the situation. The moon itself energy. Laying down, hunting, chasing. It's also about being humble and righteous. Okay, it's about having uh, power within being humble and righteous. goes back to the mother. This goes back to children. Okay, um, so that's the situation and the truth about it. The truth about the deception. The truth about the hunting and chasing. Okay. The divine says, here, get out of stubbornness. Okay. Get out of that crap. There's high volume wisdom here. The higher mind and the brain and the eyes. The I am is here as well. This is what the emperor represents. So we have the um, WV, actually the WV in the Hebrew came out in the Libra reading. This looks like a P, uh, but it is the, it's the Wanjo. It's the eighth letter. You guys are the eighth house. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Let me find it real quick. Uh, we've had this come out several times on this channel before. This is satisfaction. This is faithfulness. This is union. This complexity, well, look, that's why people have really go within, okay, because there's obviously been a freaking war about something, okay? Complexity comes through this energy right here of the 12th house. It's connected to the moon, so you get the moon here twice, okay? But we have the sun to overturn everything in a very governmental way, okay? A lot of you all, this is uh, legal stuff that the divine's bringing out for your case. Well, you guys go back to FBI anyway, <laughs> secrets and stuff anyway this goes to help in your work it's positive and career opportunities that's positive uh or something took place within you know somebody helping in somebody's work or something like that so you can take these however it manifested itself for you i like to look at all the positive stuff in what's available for you in the year now because it is okay as you think so is it we got the brain here in the and the way somebody thinks uh right here in the situation itself at the same time there's power here this would represent the father figure of the universe controlling so all the heavens are here we got a lot of heaven stuff here and it's very positive. Let's take the P for positivity. Actually, our, the P in our alphabet would be the 16th letter, which could take us to the tower energy. It's also knowing. We already got the energy right here as well. We got a rebound after touching the bottom. That's positive. That's really positive. Look, people are afraid to get burned in their, in their situation, whether that be energetically, even physically. Look, uh, the divine has a way. Uh, the divine spirit... Now, all spiritual stuff's come out on y'all stuff. The divine is um, doing things in a very spiritual way, and people have also interpretative things. Even in, it does play out in the natural. I don't know how to get this out. 
I just won't. I won't even elaborate on it. If I just said, just leave it alone. I will. Um, you guys are very intuitive anyway. Somebody been really holding back on some stuff. And it's time to just let it come to the light. Okay? And to go slow. And to just do it. And to, to forcibly allow something to be overthrown. And then take the stubble of whatever. Just all the weeds that have been confusing in the situation and throw it away just throw it into the fire and let it be purified okay so this is actually what come out um i, I still i don't feel a release with y'all for some reason anyway we have the w the v the p i'm just bringing that out because it actually looks like a p the s um the t got two t's here we've got snake in the basket energy going on Actually, when I was looking at this word down here, and we have the Q and the S. When I was looking at this word here, and the divine said kiss and make up <laughs> as well. It's also what I heard for some of you all. Because this is reconciliation stuff. Um, the, the word here was a river. And th there's a um, portion of scripture in the book of Job. And those of you who are new, I'm not, I'm, I'm spiritual. I use anything that's come through my spirit for truth's sake that I can relate it to in, in any kind of way, okay? It's, it's living language. And so it does live either way, how you're going to look at it, and, uh, you know, it's going to work itself, okay? And hopefully it works us to get to the truth. That's what it's for. But anyway, there's, when I was reading this, something was come through my spirit through the book of Job talks about, how God's talking to Job and correcting him and uh, saying, was you there when uh, when the heavens, you know, were, were made? Or were you there when this was uh, created? Were you, and asking Job a bunch of questions and stuff. And, and he was talking about Leviathan, um, about drinking up a river. <laughs> That's, something's huge. And... Um, for whatever reason that why it was coming through my spirit, it really was coming through my spirit. And Leviathan is getting judged. Okay? We know that energy of that thing is getting judged for the lies and the deception. And the truth is coming to cut something completely to separate even the soul and the spirit and the bone and the marrow itself. It's spiritual. It's it's this is all spiritual. It's from the heavens showing itself here. Even the, the sword of truth is the mind itself. And out of the heart, the mouth will speak. we got the heart right here. The divine's showing it. There's something very reliable here that the divine wants uh, this connection to experience. And that is to, to be genius and allow something to be purified by this fire. He's saying so to get out of stubbornness. Because stubbornness is literally going to get burned in the fire. In the negative. In the negative. Okay? Okay, anyway, this will come out for you, Scorpios. Let me know how it goes down below. Until next time, Shalom.